Hi guys, it's Justine B. You can call me Blondie. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out some luxury hair extensions. This company actually reached out to me and offered to send these to me to review. Um, so thank you so much to Six Star Luxury Hair Extensions. That is their name. Um, these are human hair extensions. Let me check the length. I know I got the color Dirty Brown. Um, yeah, I got the color dirty not dirty brown dirty blonde which is number 18 and they are 160 grams and they retail for 119 dollars so these are like i said luxury hair extensions um they are human hair and i think these are the 20 inch so they um they come in 18 inch 20 inch and 22 inch i'm pretty sure these are the 20 inch yes I, I, i'm looking at their website right now these are the 20 inch um, 160 grams they have a lifespan of 6 to 12 months and they can be dyed they can be heated all of that because they are human hair but if you want a shorter or longer length they do they do have um, other lengths as well and they also have like halo extensions and I, let me just check since I'm already on the website I'll give you all the information about them up front before I actually start trying them in trying them on um, they have tape in hair extensions and unique hair extensions which include like the halo extensions and micro loop instead extensions. So um, they have a bunch of different extensions just depending on like what you are looking for. So um, I just got this box in my mail right now. They come straight, but you can curl them. So I went ahead and straightened my hair today, um, which I haven't done in a long time. And I actually kind of like it. I usually prefer my hair curly, but um, I'm kind of digging the straight look. Like I said, here's the box, and then when you open it up, they sent me a little pair of lashes, like a little add-on. So this is Mink 3D Hair Lashes in H39. And these look very, very bold. I don't know if I would personally use these other than like maybe Halloween, just because whenever I wear lashes that are this big, I feel like they make my eyes look very, very small. So I prefer a more natural lash. But I know that there are some people who like glamorous lashes like this. And I also feel like, you know, if I'm going to wear hair extensions on a night out, maybe I do want to feel a little more glamorous and wear um, lashes like that. It also comes with a little clip to put this in. This clip is kind of hard to use. It's a Tony and Guy clip. Oh, it also goes like this. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Maybe to hold the extension. I don't know. I feel like this is something a hairstylist or someone who uses extensions regularly would probably know about. But it does come with one of these. And then the hair. Oh! And then it also comes with two extra um, like clips in case your clips fall off. And then the hair comes in this little like silk pouch. It has little tassels on it. So, um, like I said, I ordered dirty blonde and my hair is kind of in between a dirty blonde and a golden blonde so hopefully it's close enough that it blends in ordering hair extensions online i feel like no matter where you're ordering from whether it's like cheap hair extensions or luxury hair extensions it's always a lot harder to match your hair color okay so here we go they look a little more on the red side oh yeah it looks very like strawberry. It has like a red, a red tint to it. But I'm gonna put them in anyways. Um, they're super super soft. I'm so used to getting like cheap hair extensions that um, I'm just not used to super super soft extent um, hair like this. So I'm gonna take off these little rubber bands. I'll tell you how many extensions it actually comes with. So it comes with one four piece extension two two-piece extensions two one-piece extensions and it looks like three three-piece extensions so that's three four five six seven eight pieces total so first thing I'm going to do is put my hair up I just did the camera so you could um see the top of my head a little better and I'm going to start off with the four piece extension. Even though these aren't quite my right color, I'm hoping that 
either one I can make it like kind of look like a little ombre look like my hair is going from dirty blonde to um this like reddish blonde and it is dirty blonde it just it has a little more red tones in it than I have in my hair um so I'm gonna start off with this four piece clip I'm gonna put it in the back of my head on my bottom layer and I don't know like the proper way to do this but the way that I've always done it is I do the middle clips first and then I do the edge clips especially on the back of my head where I can't really quite see where I'm putting the extension it makes it easier to do the middle clips first and then here's how it looks on the bottom I think if I curl it, it's going to look more, um, I lost my train of thought. It's going to look more blended. And then also, if you're only wearing these for like an Instagram picture or something and not wearing them out, you can of course just put a filter on it. So now I'm going to take another section. I prefer to use a pony or a, a scrunchie instead of hair clips just because the scrunchie I feel like holds your hair up better and hair clips whenever I use hair clips I all have like hair falling down into my face so I'm going to take a three clip this time and again put that right in the back of my head and start with the middle and then do the two sides and then I'm going to take a two clip here. I'll get even closer for this. I'm going to put it on the side of my head. I have a mirror right here. So that's why I'm looking. Right there. So you kind of get a better idea where it looks like with the tracks. And then I'm going to take my second two piece and do it on this side. So it's looking a little better now that I have like these side extensions in. You can still see where my natural hair stops, but it covers it a little more. And like I said, if I curl it all together, it'll probably look more natural. So now I'm gonna take another section. And I'm going to put another three piece clip in the back. And then I'm going to put my hair all the way down just to see kind of how it looks and see where I need the last three extensions. So um, my hair is thicker on this side because I part it this way. So I'm going to put the last three piece extension on this side. That looks a little wonky. Yeah, that's not gonna work. There. And then I'm left with two one piece extensions. So I'm gonna put one in my bang area. Wait a second. Wait, there's an extra one piece hiding. So there's three one piece extensions. These two are just stuck together. So I have three extensions left. So definitely gonna put one right here. In my bang area. And 
then I'm going to do one on this side. And then, let's see, I have one last one. You can totally see where it stops and starts. It definitely makes my hair look fuller up top though, which I like. I'm gonna put another one, I think, in my bangs. Wait a second, oh my goodness! There's four of these little extra ones. They're just stuck together, okay. Not these little extra, but the single ones. So I'm gonna put one in my bang and then I still have one left over. Okay, so now where should this last one go? Hmm, should I put it on my bang side? Or should I add a little more over here? I feel like maybe I could put it kind of back here and it would add a little volume. Yeah, like that okay so here's how it looks all straightened they definitely are not quite the right color but I'm gonna go get my curling iron and see if I curl it if I can make them look a little more um, blended so I'll be right back okay so I'm just gonna take my Remington curling wand I think this is a half inch curling wand if I remember correctly and I'm just going to put a few loose curls towards the bottom and make sure that when I'm curling it I'm not only curling the extension I'm curling my real hair as well and they're just gonna be loose so is the wand even heating up? I mean, it has to be because it curled a tiny bit. Did not curl very well, though. Maybe I just need like a smaller, do smaller patches at a time. I've never curled extensions before because I've never had nice extensions. I've always gotten cheap extensions. Um, so I've never been able to them I'm just holding the hair like this because um then it like the curl stays better you hold it before you let it loose holy crap that curled it tight do you see the length change oh my goodness okay so the extensions curl very easily a lot easier than my hair does Not want that tight of a curl I just wanted loose curls maybe if I put some like sea some sea salt spray in it'll loosen them up a bit and you can put product in these extensions you can wash them all of that See, look, see how this last layer is? That's how I wanted the curls to be. You know, also, I, I actually kind of like the straight side better than the curly side. Like, I like the way this looks better. I'm trying to take like bigger sections at a time just to get more of that loose look. But hopefully some sea salt spray will help loosen it up, give, give them more of a wave than a tight curl. Do you believe my hair used to be like this long? If you go back and watch my older videos from about two years ago, my real hair on my head was this, this long. It was down to my belly button. It, right before I chopped it off, before I did the big chop. I kinda wanna grow it out again. But, and I was growing it out for a while, but then I got 
sick of it again and cut off. I think my most recent cut was in April and I cut off about six inches. Maybe I won't need, I'm going to put a little sea salt spray just to try it out, but actually I think I blended it pretty well with my fingers. I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to use this Not Your Mother's, what is this, Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I feel like I need another curl right here, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. I feel like they definitely look more blended in. It looks more like an ombre than extensions that don't match. I'm just gonna spray that in and and it works as like um a hairspray but it also just kind of makes your curls look more beachy and natural and also helps them stay in place I've noticed so there is my review so that is really it um for these ex I have like so much down here and I feel like I need something up here now. Maybe I just need to like tease my hair. Um, but that is it for trying out these um, six star luxury hair extensions. Um, thank you so much to six star for sending these over. I've never tried luxury like real human hair extensions before. I've used hair extensions a lot. Like I said, they're usually cheap ones. So thank you so much to six star. Um, I feel confident that even though these aren't quite the right color, I could still wear them out. Um, and it just looks like an ombre look. So I will link their website down below for you guys. Here's just another look of it all together. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.